this is uh, sesame plants that are growing uh, here in zone 6 where we live in the US um, so you can see these are the flowers that are tubular and uh, these glands that are there you know I don't know if you notice and eventually when the flowers drop it starts to make the pod the pod is uh, long about one inch less than an inch long but it's there in every single node and that's how that's what bears the uh, sesame seeds inside and uh, they grow really tall we have used it as live fencing uh, in our garden it has a particular smell um, that makes it uh, uh, a deterrent for the deer and so they don't like to pass through the um, uh, the fence the live fence so this is the silic or the pod of sesame uh, plants and uh, the seeds are inside so trying to get some seeds out um, we know it's ready because it has split open and it is dry um, so that's when it, uh, we know that it is ready and silic of uh, uh, sesame or pods of uh, sesame and if you you know um, So the sesame uh, pods are completely dry. Um, now it's time to take the seeds out of the pod. I mean, basically it opens on its own, and you know when we beat it like that a tiny bit, it comes off, and um, the seeds are out. But it's actually a mix of both, um, uh, you know, seeds and the dry leaves together at this point. So basically, you know, neither of us <laughs> wanted to work on it to get it um, separated, uh, although they are very good sesame seeds. So if someone has time and they want to do it, uh, they can get sesame seeds out of this, uh, um, uh, out of this bunch of both debris, leaf debris and the sesame seeds. So we put it in a container with uh, holes in it and uh, when we shake it what falls to the ground is uh, mostly the seeds, sesame seeds and a uh, tiny bit of the debris that is about the size 